Good morning, y'all. Y buenos días. So for today's video, I wanted to do a review on the Nima perfume. So if you guys are interested in smelling all the good stuff, then keep on watching. All right, so bummer. I don't have smell o vision just yet. But I just wanted to really talk about this perfume line because it really shook me, y'all. So a little backstory. My mom has always been like a hella, hella perfume lover, right? And because she was such a uh, like a passionate person about perfumes it made me despise perfumes like i absolutely hated them for the longest time because you already know the kind of perfumes i'm talking about just like in your face strong as hell like kind of makes your eyes water perfumes and so ever since i was a teenager i was just like not about it i was like i don't want these ridiculous strong smells and i just kind of pushed all perfumes aside because I just had this assumption that they all smelled that way and they were all super strong and that they were just like not for me. And so I was really hyped when I received these in the mail um, because they are such a just amazing set of smells. Like I can't even get over how they're strong enough to where you can like smell them on people but light enough to where they're not like in your face. Oh my God, why are you wearing so much perfume? So I'm so excited because obviously, since I'm talking about them, they are vegan and cruelty-free, alcohol-free, all of the junk-free, um, which is obviously awesome uh, for anyone, but in particular as a mom who is like always carrying my little ones around, I don't want super strong perfumes like getting on them, even if it was like vegan and cruelty-free, but if it was just like a super intense smell, I don't want that like agitating them, especially with Kuali being that baby is very little. And so I was so excited about that. As soon as I opened the packaging and you know, packaging, another really exciting point is that they have, they are so aware of their packaging and everything that it came in with was all paper and cardboard. So. I mean, what more could you ask for? So I was so excited about that because there's nothing worse than someone like me because I get stuff sent all the time. And as y'all know, like I don't really review a bunch of stuff because if I don't like it, I don't even see a point in talking about it. I don't want to bring any sort of attention to a company that either like isn't that great or you know doesn't align with my values like i don't i don't even want to bring attention to it and so when i saw the packaging and it was so like minimal and just like paper and like cardboard and luna just grabbed all the paper that was inside and just like went and started drawing with it that's the kind of stuff that i'm looking for that is exactly what i want out of a company like yes your product is great and yes it's cruelty free and yes it's vegan and it smells great but like outside the box or inside the box should i say like you have to be thinking about that too especially if you're a company who's sending out like multiple orders all the time. And so I was so excited about that. But um, so I kind of did a little test and um, I'll show you guys all of the bottles that I got. And I kind of did a test since uh, my little sister, Jessie and my sister-in-law, Carmen are here and we kind of all smelled around and we tried them all on just to see like which ones we liked best. So I'll, I'll definitely let you guys know which ones won for each of us. But I am just so excited to just like sniff around and show y'all. Okay, so we're gonna start off with the Egyptian Musk. I'm not any sort of perfume expert by any means, but I'll just let y'all know what I think they smell like. Like this one is very woodsy and I just kind of got it on my face but these are perfume oils and so they last a lot longer than your conventional like regular perfume and also mm, they just smell so good I'm just trying to describe it but I'm a sh like terrible person at describing it mm. it just smells adult enough to where you can wear it at like a fancy place and not feel like you're a 12 year old but also they're not the conventional like older woman spray if you get what I'm saying like Oh, these just smell so nice. So this one is the Egyptian Musk. And this one won Zach's vote. He really, really liked when we were wearing this one in particular. The next one is the Vanilla. And Vanilla, it smells exactly what it sounds like. It smells like Christmassy, very wintry. Like I love wearing vanilla smells during the winter because they just are like the perfect scent to go along with that time. And so Carmen uh, voted on this one. She said that this one was by far her favorite one. Like I said, very sweet, but not overbearingly sweet because you don't want to smell like an actual like chocolate chip cookie or anything like that. Although, I mean, maybe some people do, but this is like a great 
middle ground of that. The next one that I got was the sandalwood. And this one is probably one of my favorite ones just because it's so like warm and very like earthy smelling. And that's like one of my favorite smells. I just love um, very like natural smelling smells and just sandalwood has always been one of my favorite scents and this just captures it perfectly. And the last one is the amber smell and Jesse voted on this one. This one's just so good. It's like slight hints of floral to it, which I really, really enjoy. I don't like things that are overpoweringly floral and this one is a, a nice balance to that. I think that that's probably my favorite thing about all of these is just the balance that they have. You're able to smell the smell without it being so obnoxious and in your face to where you can actually enjoy it. And finally, I got a larger bottle of the amber and this one is like a lighter sprayer and ooh, it just smells so, so, so good. And let me show you guys the little box that it came in. So it came in this little box and it's so awesome. This packaging is made out of wood and what's so awesome, I love things that can double. These little like frilly like hay type thingy that comes in here you can spray inside of here and use it itself as a diffuser which i thought was just amazing i mean that's the, that's the kind of things i'm looking for i'm looking for dual purpose i'm looking for alternatives like that's exactly the kind of thing that i'm looking for so typically what i do is after i shower i'll just rub the oils at like the warmest point so i'll put like right here on my arms and like right here on my neck and like awkwardly enough like right here like right in between and you can you literally can smell it throughout the entire day without it being too strong like i said that's like my key thing when it comes to perfume is that I want to be able to smell it. Like I don't want to put stuff on and it not like smell like anything. But at the same time, I don't want it to be so overpoweringly like obnoxious in your face that I can't even enjoy it anymore. So I really, really love these. Again, cruelty free and vegan, minimal packaging. I mean, like it hit all the spots for me, which uh, is unusual when it comes to certain things like this because either they're vegan and cruelty free but they're like too strong or you know like it's hard for me to find a product of any kind that really hits the mark on everything so i was really really excited about that um i'll put some links down below for you guys um so that you can try them out what i really enjoy too is that the bottles are small enough to where you can really test them out as opposed to just committing to a giant bottle and then like not knowing if you like it the smaller bottles are 10 milliliters and so you're able to really test them out and see which ones you prefer so that is it for my little review uh, if you guys are interested in testing them out for yourself uh head over to the links down below so as always if you guys have any questions then head over to my instagram i'm answering all the questions over there there. Lasso Kamanti for watching and I'll talk to y'all later.